Annie's and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all a review on the Saint Tropez bronzing water face mist. So what I'm actually going to do is when I received this, I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to review this because I also did receive from Saint Tropez the bronzing water gel for the whole body. Um, so I have both of the products here and I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to review them. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it all in one video or how I wanted to do it. So I was actually looking up some reviews and I came across Hannah Denton's videos um, on these two products and she actually did the face mist by itself and she did it for a period of I want to say a week so what I've decided to do is try it out for maybe five six days just an extended period of time instead of just showing it to you guys once and I also am going to be having a whole video on this which will probably be up before this video is so you know but there will be a video for each product separately but I am going to do this one by itself for a few days so that way we can kind of see exactly how it works on my skin and go from there so I will be checking back in with you guys every day for five days maybe and we will see how it goes from there so this says spritz and glow with our ultra lightweight skin protecting and tropical scented tanning water mist refresh and revive your complexion for a lightweight year-round golden glow with our purest face tanning formula yet with 100 naturally derived dha and packed with advanced moisturizers it is infused with uplifting green mandarin water and tropical hibiscus flower extract to help combat the effects of pollution and environmental aggressors result a healthy and radiant glow that suits all skin tones so it doesn't really give quite um it doesn't really give directions so to say um and it doesn't say also how long it will take to kind of show up on the skin um so i'm just gonna spray it on and hope for the best um also i am a little bit scared because i get nervous with anything on my face whenever i tan i never put tanning you know product on my face I just never do it but this is an ultra fine mist so I'm just gonna hope that this kind of settles into the skin nicely and naturally without breaking me out or looking weird um so we're just gonna go ahead and spritz this on okay I felt like it took me a lot to actually feel it on my skin, but now that it's on there, it feels super light and refreshing. And I also got it like all in my chest area, um, but you can kind of see like a sheen. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but um, my face has a little bit of a sheen. I feel like I didn't really spray, like I feel like I sprayed a lot, but I feel like none of it hit my face. All right, I'm gonna spray a little bit more because I feel like none of it actually got on my face. <laughs> Okay. I feel like that time some of it actually hit my face so we'll see but yeah um so right now you obviously don't see much going on um, I guess it does take a little bit of time to develop I don't really know because it doesn't really say but I'm probably gonna wait maybe about 30 minutes and then put my makeup on over top of it and hopefully it just has a natural bronzed glow and once I tan, hopefully it kind of all looks even with my darker foundation and everything. So I'm not quite sure. We shall see. But like I said, I'm going to give it about 30 minutes before I put my makeup on. And then we will check back in the next time I use it to see how my skin is looking. One thing that I do want to say is that it smells very fresh and tropical. It is the Purity line, which kind of has just a very tropical feel to it just looking at it it looks like it's supposed to be like sand and water so uh, the tropical smell is very fitting for that um, and it does feel very light and very kind of refreshing the only thing I put on my face before using this was just washing my face with my African black soap from Shea Moisture um, so I didn't put any moisturizer or anything on my skin before I put this on and it feels very lightweight, so I'm excited to see where this goes and how it's going to end up looking. Good morning. So it is the second day of using my Saint-Tropez Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist. 
and I actually really do see a glow. So yesterday I put it on in the morning and then waited about 30 minutes until I did my makeup. And then this morning I put it on about a half hour ago and I really can see the glow still from yesterday, but I do see today a bit of a difference as well. I really am loving this. I think that it's giving my face such a great natural tan look. I never put self tanner on my face ever. So having a kind of safe, I want to say like a fail free option is really nice for me. It is an ultra fine mist and they are not kidding when they say ultra fine. If you recall yesterday, I could barely feel it going on my face and I sprayed it like a bunch more times. But you know what? Honestly, I don't even think you have to do that. It might feel like it's not hitting the skin, but it really is getting on there and seeping in and giving you a very naturally bronzed look and I absolutely love it. I feel very naturally tanned. Like I really feel like I just laid out and came back in because my face is looking so good. But I feel like that without having all of the damages of it and peeling skin and redness and all of that. So I love this and it actually makes my face feel super smooth and the smell is incredible. So I really do love that. Also yesterday when I was reading you guys the back of the bottle, I recall saying that there was no instructions, but I did notice that there is a little tab right here and you can actually lift that up and it does give you some instructions. So I noticed that after, but I will read that to you guys now just so we are all on the same page. So. It says golden rules for the perfect sunless tan. Shake well before use, close eyes, and spray five to six full pumps onto clean, dry skin, applying evenly over face, neck, and dec decolo decolletage. I'm sorry, I cannot. I have the worst, like, accent trying to say words that are not, like, you know. Like, anything that has, like, a little accent over it, I can't say. So, I apologize. Um, but I'm going to stop real quick because it does say five to six pumps, which, you know, I don't think you need as much as I might have used yesterday, but I don't also think that five to six full pumps is enough, but that's just my opinion. I have a big head. So decolletage, 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 is that how you say it? I don't know. The delicate mist easily absorbs into skin under or over makeup as primer and setting spray with no need to rub or blend in. Within four to eight hours, it develops into a flawless golden glow that smells beautiful with no transfer onto clothing or bedding. Spritz as often as desired throughout the day to refresh skin and boost your glow. Use every day for a tan that lasts for days and fades evenly. So I was a little nervous trying it out for every day, but... Then I saw that and it says you can use it every day. You can even use it multiple times throughout the day. So that makes me happy and very excited to continue using it and to see where it goes from here. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, this has nothing to do with the tanner, but I did want to mention this adorable headband that you probably also saw me wearing yesterday. This is the Boho Bandeau from the brand Natural Life or the company Natural Life, I guess I could say. And I'm just loving this. Honestly, I wear it like every day. I've had it for about two weeks and I've worn it almost every single day since I bought it. I love it so much. It is just so cute and it works really well. So just wanted to mention that because you're probably going to see me wearing this a lot more. But yes, so that is the second day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So it is day three of my face mist using usage. <laughs> and um, okay, so this morning, it's been about three hours since I put it on. And this morning when I woke up from yesterday's, I was feeling really good. I was like, you know what? Like, I don't have to put any makeup on. Like, I feel so good. And then I put some more on today, of course. And I just looked at myself in the mirror after about three hours. And I'm feeling kind of orange. Um, but I really can't tell if I look tan or if the lighting in my bathroom just made me look kind of orange. Because, like, I was watching back my tan tanning video. And in person, I look really good. Like, I look very naturally tan. But on the video, like, from the ring light, I guess, I look super orange. Like, way more orange than I look in person. So, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is take a day off. Like, I don't think I'm going to use it tomorrow. Um, and then see if it kind of calms down a little bit. And then go back to using it the next day and see how that works. But right now, I think I might have overdone it just a teeny bit. <laughs> 
Hello, hello. So it is day four of using the face mist. And so I did not, well, actually I shouldn't say it's day four of using it because I did not use it today. This is still from yesterday. I'm just washing my face with my African black soap. Um, and I'm starting to like the color again. So yesterday I think I went a little bit overboard, but then when I washed my face last night, it kind of calmed down a little bit, took a little bit of took a little bit of it off and I'm back to that feeling where I'm like oh like I can walk out of the house like this and I feel like I look good like I feel like I just look very naturally tanned and I'm living for that so yeah today is a good day I'm gonna go back to using it again tomorrow and just kind of see so I'm gonna see if maybe not using it today and then washing my face again today takes a little bit of it off and then maybe I'll fall back in love with it again tomorrow but yesterday I felt like it was starting to get a little bit overboard so we'll see what happens tomorrow but right now this day not using it I'm really loving the color from the previous days so we'll see Hello everyone, so it is day five and I used the face mist once again today after taking my day off from using it yesterday and I have to say that I absolutely love the color that my face is looking today. Everyone at work today was saying just how tan and natural and golden bronzed my face looked so I was super appreciative of that and I was really loving the color so I'm definitely happy that I took that day off yesterday to kind of let the color calm down a little bit and now I'm happy with the color again I didn't wear any makeup at all today so I'm really really loving this color payoff and it kind of just goes to show that you can definitely build the color up as we saw the color was definitely getting darker over the days but if you want to kind of slow it down a little bit you can definitely take time off let the color calm down a little bit and then just use it as needed and you'll definitely still get an awesome color payoff so I'm really loving the color today like I've said a million times already so far in this video but I'm gonna use it Maybe for another day or two, I don't know, we'll see, but we will check back in tomorrow and see what happens then. Hello everyone, I don't know what day it is, but welcome. My face is looking so good. I am loving, loving, loving the color. Everyone is saying how great the color looks and I have to agree. I don't think that it is overdone at all. It looks super natural and really good. I don't have any makeup on besides like mascara and lip gloss and I feel super, super confident with the color of my skin, the way the mist is working. It is evening my skin out in a way that I didn't expect it to and it just looks really good. So I'm gonna try it for one more day and then that will be the conclusion and overall I am really loving it. Hello and welcome to the final, final day. So this is what my tan looks like on this last day of using it. It's been a couple hours since I put it on and I am really, really loving it. I honestly really overall love the look. Um, and my skin looks really good today. I haven't even worn makeup these last few days because I'm just loving this natural tan look. Um, so my camera's actually like really, really about to die right now. So I'm going to stop this part of the video here and I will return tomorrow to give you guys all my final thoughts and let you guys know, you know, what I think about it. So I will see you soon. Hey guys, and welcome to the conclusion and my final thoughts on the St. Tropez Bronzing Water Face Mist from the Purity line. So honestly, I can truly say that I really, really love this product. I mean, as I'm sure you saw throughout the days, I kind of had like a love-hate relationship with it in the beginning but I have always loved the color that it made my face and I think that it is a really great product. Um, it is 2.7 fluid ounces and it retails for $30 so I mean to me that price does seem a little hefty but honestly I really thought you were gonna have to use like way more product than the price like was good for but you do not have to use as much as I was using in the beginning honestly like just a few pumps you know even if you want to use it every day that's fine but like just a few pumps every other day even really does keep you looking very naturally tanned and golden and I love it so much it is really a game changer honestly because as I'm sure you remember me mentioning throughout the beginning of the video I do not like putting any type of self tanner on my face at all I've always had really sensitive skin especially on my face and so putting any type of like self tanner always kind of 
freaked me out and like definitely scared me so I really never ever wanted to do that that's why when I was using this going into it I was a bit nervous but it really is an ultra fine mist and it settles into the skin so nicely and really does leave you looking very naturally golden and for that I can truly say I love the product so much so yes I definitely recommend the product it can seem a little bit pricey and might seem like it's out of your price range but if you do get the money and want to try it I definitely think that you will end up liking it just as much as I did I really think that it is a good product especially if you don't like putting heavy mousse or gel self tanner on your face this is really nice because it's super light and it just works so well on the skin and it really does leave you looking very naturally tan so yes my final thoughts are that I really do recommend this product I think it is a great buy and definitely good for going into the summertime like I said I do not love the damages that laying out in the sun can give to my skin so having something like this is a really great way to fake that tan and still have it looking supernatural so I really do like this product and I highly recommend it and I hope that you guys will try it out so thank you guys so much for watching this video my full body tan review on the Saint Tropez bronzing water gel is up on my channel as well so please be sure to go check that video out as well I will have it linked in the description box down below and if you guys like these sorts of review videos or even just tanning videos in general please let me know I'd be happy to make more of them for you and thank you guys so much for watching this video I will see you all in the next one bye